Hello, Virgo. Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Virgo. <laughs> there could be a turnaround for you. I don't know if you're wanting somebody to turn around or there's something that you need to turn around and look at. Somebody could be saying, turn around and look at me. We got the Queen of Cups. Somebody may want your attention, Virgo. I feel like there's some massive changes going on. A lot of you could wear the color pink or like floral colors could be significant for you. There's somebody that you feel like y'all stick like glue to each other or it's like you really fit. Somebody may have a hard time flying alone. It's like my, I don't know, my wings feel heavy or I don't feel. Somebody may be like trying to get their footing after coming out of a relationship. There's something about being alone. Some of you may be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You may have been on a break from this person or this person's kind of like taking their space. They may have walked away. Chariot, Pisces, Cancer energy. This is looking like the turn down, like a reconciliation that didn't go well, something like that. Or somebody's not looking back at this relationship. I'm, I'm seeing like someone not being interested. Somebody here was thinking about a new opportunity. I feel like during the break, they thought about like the new or maybe they're, I don't know, something new. Ace of Pentacles. It's almost like the current relationship I, I'm in is way too heavy for me. Somebody's ready to get over something. It's like, I'm not, there's no reciprocity here. I'd rather just not think about it anymore. I'd rather just have something new. It doesn't mean, like, I don't think necessarily it's a new person. Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. Somebody's choosing to put their, their, their love back into themselves. I feel like there may be a masculine energy here who, I'm not sure if he was just younger or if he, I don't know. He could have a lot of options. He's just not showing. Wow. Number seven could be significant. <laughs> This masculine is swiping left and swiping right. He's not showing up as the guy I want to marry right now. And I feel like that's why this queen is like, no. Letting go of the past. So this feminine is like, I'm not chasing after this mess. You better come to me correct. Or, you know, I can't do this. I'm not going to be able to do this with you. She's quiet. She doesn't mind walking away, giving up, you know. Because all four kings are in the reverse. All four of them. And the emperor is here in the reverse. All right. Somebody has a lot of... Uh, something about strings attached strings attached. Something real slippery. It's like somebody has a different idea of what commitment is or loyalty. It's like they'd rather have something like a commitment than <laughs> the actual thing. Strings attached. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's lying. <laughs> Queen of Swords in the reverse. Lovers in the reverse. I'm not telling you something. Either somebody's not divorced. Oof. Somebody started talking to an ex again. Who wanted their attention. Something like that. Yeah, it's like somebody's going back to something. They still have hope for possibly an ex, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But there's something about... It's like I once I got back over there, I realized how heavy it was over there. Or perhaps we never resolved 
whatever the reason was that we wasn't dealing with each other no more. So I walked back into the same argument. Is it, is it that? So we got the Emperor, wait. Yeah, Emperor and Empress in the reverse. The Emperor, the masculine energy feels like either he abandoned shit before things was actually over or it's like unfinished business, but it's also a lot of conflict and abandonment. I feel like he was unfaithful. There were secrets. I think the secrets came out and somebody decided to let go. He wants another go round. The feminine energy is like, nope, <laughs> I'm not moving forward on this. I found somebody new. So it's like by the time he got back, it was too late. Something like that. But there's still an emotional attachment that he has, but she does not trust him. Mm, let's see. Rumors. Rumors was also a thing in your meditation, Virgo. The song that's playing right now is called Suspended. Somebody may feel like they got suspended from a relationship, possibly with this Queen of Swords in the reverse. Could be an ex or an air sign. Suspended is also giving Pisces energy, the hangman. It may be time to recalculate some things, reevaluate some things. That's what the hangman represents. It's like really taking a step back, saying, okay, let me look at this conflict, the hermit card. What is it that I need to detach from? What is it that I'm not listening to within myself? There's some kind of conflict that led to a lot of disappointment. It could have been an argument. It could have been like other people. What was this conflict? Lack of investment. Could have been financial issues or someone being in another relationship, juggling. Gambling could have been an issue not being worried about the important things in this relationship, not resolving something. Something about paying bills. It's a lot about money here. <laughs> and what you didn't do. Something like that. It's like a really slippery slope here. But there was a lot. And it's looking like on the masculine energy side. It could also be about desires or like having a weak... Something about weakness. Like I have a weakness for something. Indulgence. Take that how it resonates. Somebody was like, I simply don't know how I can make this happen with this person. So I'm just going to stop. The Hermit card. Somebody's lifestyle is the reason why shit ended. Literally. It could be like partying, drinking too much. A lot of foolish, ridiculous behavior that always seems to lead to some kind of tragedy. Whether it's in a relationship, a friendship, a job, a something. I'm seeing somebody who gets reprimanded. It's like they get reprimanded, they sulk, they leave the house for a while, and then they, they wait until they can get attention again from this person. This shit is crazy. And they plan out again, how am I going to get back to this Queen of Cups? Devil card. Somebody has to separate from these player irresponsible ways. Like, devil in reverse, knight of wands. Somebody need to put their phone down. Pick their checkbook up. Take a minute and look at your associations. Look at the people that you love. I don't know if I don't know who I'm. I'm talking to the masculine energy. Look at all of your past relationships. Like, is something you need to just sit down and review it? You know, 
I look at relationships the same way I would look at a business, you know, friendships, whatever it is, you know, every now and then you got to have a meeting to see where we at, you know, what are our goals for next year, <laughs> you know, are things for like an oil change or um, a tune up? <laughs> relationships need this too. And sometimes we need to have our own tune up, okay? And I feel like that's what this masculine needs to do. It's like you can't have love, stability. You can't expect all of this from somebody else if that's not what you're given. And that's period. Like you can't want all of these things for yourself and not be willing to get to to give them to someone else. There's somebody here. Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords has walked away. She's not talking. There was a big crack in the foundation. I'm seeing something over, and I feel like it's over because of the other woman. That maybe this masculine keeps fighting for. Let's see what else is here. Somebody. I heard the word delusional. I saw like pink clouds. Somebody could, I don't know, I got prescription drugs, maybe a psychedelic <laughs> drug from that. I also got, um, I don't know, head in the clouds. I feel like somebody needs to come down to reality. Like, if I, I don't know, it's kind of like if I want to be a teacher or if I want to be a doctor. I'm going to have to make a choice on what thing I'm going to invest in because that's going to be pretty hard to do both of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Something's going to be falling short. I can't do both of those. You know what I mean? I feel like that's what somebody's going through when it comes to partners. Okay, this, uh, this, this is another message that I got. And it, and it really describes the Four of Cups. Um, and I'm sorry if this offends somebody, but it came while I was meditating on your energy. Could be somebody in your energy, but I got unaccomplished, slow, lazy, but swears that they're worth it. This is somebody who plays with their food, you know. It's like these, I don't know, I look at... I feel like this is somebody who plays with their love options. I do see someone realizing who they love though and ready to like open up their feelings. But they may feel like this person isn't giving them any attention anymore. But I see someone fighting to come back to do the right thing. Let's see. Full judgment. I choose you. I'm dropping all these other things. Right? I know that you're defensive towards me because of everything that happened in the past. I know you turned me down because I wasn't what you needed me to be. So maybe somebody's trying to turn it around. You know, but he's offering this, this queen, like, I choose you. I was in denial about it. I was undecided about, you know, what I wanted to commit to because there were some things that I still had to end, right? There's definitely, somebody's choosing. The song that's playing right now is called Love Heals. I feel like whoever this masculine is choosing, which could be the Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, okay? I don't feel like it's the Queen of Swords. Um, whoever this masculine is choosing, it's like, your love healed me, though. Or your love made me want to change. Because this massive change, it's like a massive change that's going on with somebody. Um, Sweet Dreams was also playing when I started your reading. It, it wasn't the Beyonce song, Who's a Virgo? But I, it's, now it's reminded me of the Beyonce song, Sweet Dream or a Beautiful Nightmare. Could be, like, the vibe of this connection. <laughs> Um, somebody's really funny too, like without trying. Somebody's a natural comedian. Somebody's a really great friend. I feel like that's the Virgo. Um, but 
Are y'all friends zoning each other or has one of you friends on the other? I really feel like somebody loves you and they really feel a deep connection to you. And it, it feels romantic, but something about it feels friends. You know what I mean? And I feel like whoever this masculine is choosing, she's making him want to like be that stand-up guy. He doesn't want to be looked at in a bad way by this feminine. There's something about her. But it's some kind of madness, you know? Um, I also got Can't Stop Being Gay. So somebody may be struggling with their sexuality um, or like, you know, owning it type of energy. So it's kind of like if it could be that, you know, sometimes I've, I've, I've dated a bisexual guy. Let's just put it out there, right? And I didn't know he was bisexual at first. But, you know, later on in the relationship, I found out and I was like, oh. Now, I know, we, you know, we lived in the South. And it's not something that you really just want to come out and, and say, especially not back then. Um, but it was like, well, you know, I fought. I'm, not, I'm a musician. I'm, I'm, I'm a little open-minded. You know what I mean? I felt like we were comfortable enough. We had a tight enough friendship for him to be able to tell me that. You know what I mean? But... Uh, I don't know. Maybe somebody's having a hard time with that. And that could be the blockage in the relationship. So it could be that you're just meant to be friends, but there is a romantic connection there. But until somebody until somebody becomes comfortable with their sexuality and, and being, you know, until you become comfortable with who you are, whether it's your sexuality or anything, your body, <laughs> your teeth, you know, people could be insecure about all kinds of shit. Okay, and it can cause all kinds of blockages in relationships. And until somebody gets a handle on that, ain't nothing another person can do. But I do feel like this person's like, I love you and I'm here for you, but I'm not gonna put my heart through the ringer for nothing. You know what I mean? For for if you don't know where you're at, you know what I mean? It reminds me of the quote of um if you don't if you don't know where you stand, go stand somewhere else. And I feel like that's where this queen is. Because I don't think having a life partner has anything to do with your sexuality. Like, there's there's a guy that I dated who's Virgo. And we had everything it took for longevity. Because you're not going to be, you know, humping on each other. I don't mean, hopefully you can still get it in in like your 80s. But... <laughs> For the most part, you know, we're getting all that in right now. You know, while we're young and our skin is dewy and tight and our knees don't hurt. You know, we're trying to get it in now. So, me and him, but we, we had the type of bond that I could see us in our 80s rocking on the front porch. Talking about, you know, how we used to hit the streets. Things like that, you know. So I feel like you have that vibe with somebody. That ain't got nothing to do with sexuality. It just depends on what you both want from the relationship, really. You know, what what you two agree on. I think there is longevity. It seems like a sweet bond between you and someone. But I, I just feel like there's a blockage. If it's not sexuality, it's something. Okay. New love for Virgo. Anyone new for Virgo? What is this person like? Ooh, the tower in the reverse. Um, either this is saying that you need to avoid new relationships right now, or this is, or there's somebody that's coming towards you who is very avoidant of commitment. Page of Cups in the reverse. They could be afraid of rejection. They could be afraid of commitment. This could be somebody who's moving on. Okay, or this could be you. It's like, take it, take the time to move on from what's already happened. I just said this in Leo's video. It's not that you have to come into a relationship fully healed, fully got your shit together, you know, because nobody does. But what I was saying to Leo is like, if, there, if there's a fresh wound 
They're not going to let you leave the hospital while you're still bleeding. So don't, if you're still bleeding, don't you go mess. Don't you go messing with nobody, Virgo. If you're still literally leaking, you know, so say this car is right here, honey, it's still leaking. I'm not going to let you out of the hospital right now. We're going to get you bandaged up. We're going to get, you know, the antibiotic and all of this. And and I, I say, this is just me personally, I don't even want it to be like at the scab. You know what I mean? Because anything could happen. And, you know, when you still press it, it still hurt. You know what I mean? I'm thinking more like a scar. <laughs> you know, because it's healed. You know what I mean? You ain't got to worry about it getting infected or nothing like that no more. It's not getting triggered by shit no more. It's just a scar that's there. We can laugh about it now. I think that's how healed you need to be before you go into your next relationship. Just about there. You know, like, well, we can, we can laugh about it. We can talk about the past because I'm not still triggered on that. Um, but it's not triggering me anymore. I think that's the biggest thing because if I, if I'm talking to you and you still triggered by your ex, hmm, my wood instantly goes down instantly. Like, you know, and I, so I don't know if this is telling you to avoid it right now. Avoid relationships. It's something that, because I feel like somebody still can't decide whether they want to be that guy right now or whether they want to be that girl right now. And there's somebody here who is not investing their heart in it until they see that. It's like, same in Leo's reading. I'd rather be alone than to be with somebody who lies, lies to me. Something like that. Somebody here is very much avoiding drama. I feel like they're not being left alone, though. And it's like every time this person, I feel like the masculine is like, but I want to be with you, you know, and he's, he's still trying to get with her. And every time it's like, she may point out, you're not ready or something like that. You still need time or it's like, you're not ready. And, the, and this feminine knows that this feminine knows the masculine isn't ready. So it's like, he wants. He's trying to take his, his mind off of it. Something like that, Virgo. Somebody is lying. Okay. And it's not bringing up new love. Let me try again. I'm going to try again for the folks who are actually not going through this. Some of you guys are really like a magician. New love. You got to get over what has already happened. Ten of swords in the reverse, five of pentacles, eight of cups. It's still leaking. It's not quite. You touch it and it's, it still hurt. You still got the bandage on it. That's what this looks like. The focus needs to be on you right now. I still feel like somebody's going through disappointment, missed opportunity, wanting to apologize for the lies of the ex or whoever this is. Could be a Gemini. I'm walking away from something that didn't work. Relationship. I mean, it's it's not. Um, it's not time for new love right now. Not for whoever I'm reading for. So I'm going to pull advice, Virgo. Advice for Virgo. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Ooh. Queen of Wands. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Somebody's sad. They're holding back their feelings. They're not talking to whoever this masculine is. I'm seeing a fallout. I'm not keeping myself stuck to this anymore. Somebody may even block the other from trying to communicate again. 
I'm not worried about this anymore. Somebody's pouring out their cup and somebody may be getting rejected as well. I hate reading stuff like this, but I'm just telling y'all what it is. I do feel like somebody may... be bisexual but there's definitely um whether it's about bisexuality hetero heterosexuality there's some hoism in this masculine's energy that has caused a lot of heartbreak this queen of wands i feel like um this may have been the third party this was the cause of a breakup for somebody Yeah, there was a side person here. The Queen of Swords may have found out about the Queen of Wands or vice versa. How does this masculine feel about the Queen of Wands? The Queen of Swords. She's, she, she reprimands him. The Queen of Swords reprimands him. But it's almost like... <sighs> What's the judgment? the queen of swords is more like a mother she may be older than him i feel like he is lost hope in the queen of wands but he wants to express his feelings but i feel like he just he still feels like there's life left to this relationship but i also feel like he waits for this other one maybe there was a more committed situation between him and the queen of swords because it looks like it was more of a divorce on that side. Like, the Queen of Wands broke up the Queen of Swords. And I don't know. <laughs> it's a mess. I think I lost the advice, so I'm trying again. It's just so much to this story. Advice for Virgo. Did I say the advice already? These readings are too long. <laughs> I'm going to shorten them next week. The advice is exactly what I said earlier. How are you going to expect something from somebody that you're not willing to give? Somebody needs to figure out where they want to be. So right now, because the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands has popped out again. The Queen of Wands is walking away. There's too many questions in my head about this. But this masculine needs to figure out where it is that he wants to be. And whatever it is you want from a situation is what you have to invest in it. You can't be the emperor. Of, it's like... I want you to look at me the way I want you to look at me, but I'm not actually that. I feel like that's kind of what uh, this masculine has going on right now. I'm going to leave you with this, Virgo, because my head hurt. <laughs> Virgo. Take this day in your hands and shape each moment into something wonderful. What do you want it to look like, Virgo? Because it's really up to you. What we see around us is usually what we manifest it. Remember, everything is right until it is wrong. And you'll know when it's wrong, Virgo.
Nothing is better than going home to family, eating good food, and relaxing. Depending on where you actually want to do that. <laughs> I feel like it's for this masculine. The weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. So it may be an issue. It may be something there. Somebody's having a hard time forgiving someone else, forgiving themselves. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others, which I don't feel like Virgos have a problem with at all. But just make sure that you're not completely losing yourself. Go with what feels right, Virgo. Go with the one that feels right. I don't know who this is for, but I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.